the opportunity as far as working. That opportunity has it. It can't just be about how much money I'm going to be paid. That opportunity has to make sense for me. It has to work for my kids, and it definitely has to work for your wife, or your girlfriend, or someone you're in love with, someone you're trying to get with, or someone you're trying to keep. Because happy wife, happy life. talking for the last 15 minutes and I've only recorded 10 seconds. Thanks babe. Appreciate your hard work and dedication to being the camera woman. Just God. She's actually this day stage left for the second time. Right? So we don't want her to come back y'all because my stuff done messed up. Uh, we just growing man. Look. Like I said the last time I tried to record and everything got messed up. It's not your season, it's episode two of M the Motivated J Fit Podcast, man. This podcast is for motivation, determination, um, inspiration, whatever you're looking for, man. I hope I can provide that to you on this episode. Um, when I got to thinking about this episode, it based it, it came off a conversation, man. I was having a boy. You know, I stay having conversations and man, the next thing you know, um, months of planning is out the window because I got a whole nother idea and I like to go with what works if it, if it don't if it don't work um, maybe it's just not my it's not that that topic season that at all we plan for the podcast but um, yeah make sure you go to YouTube subscribe um, like comment and follow the podcast man um, especially on Apple, I want you to make sure you go and follow. That way, when the podcast um, drops, you will get notified and automatically download to your to your streaming uh, device. Um, make sure you leave a one line comment, man, on on the Apple Music, man. Just letting people know what you think of the podcast, good or bad, man. Look, hey, look, I use I use all reviews and all comments as motivation for me to better this podcast because I don't want to put no crap out um, the day we trained man I hadn't trained since Sunday just wasn't in the mood man and that's okay you know I talked about it on the last part last podcast um, when you're doing things you got especially things where you could potentially harm yourself you got to make sure you're feeling good and if you ain't feeling well don't attempt to do it I just didn't feel like it, and I didn't feel bad about it. But guess what? I made up in the gym and they were a little bit more sweat equity to really pay my dues as far as what fitness, the fitness lifestyle requires. Um, so to get this podcast kicking off, man, we're going to start this podcast with one of my favorite songs from Marvin Sapp. Should be no, not the time or the place. Hey, look, I hope this song motivates somebody, man. Look, and inspire somebody. I'm going to get the same energy in this video and on this podcast that I give on Instagram every morning, man, when I'm really um, in, embracing God's, man, spirit towards my life and, man, and motivating me to be better and being strong in the moment, man. So I hope you're vibing and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube for the podcast, man, and the Motivated J Fit Podcast, okay?
Wait on the Lord. This is not your time. Oh, yeah. You gotta learn. Oh, oh. This is not the time. This is not your place to you should be. It's not the time or the place to throw in the towel. Hey, you got to press on. You got to stay strong, man. Hey. Sometimes you win. Hey. And then sometimes you lose. Hey. Hey, man, I look, I went into this podcast thinking this was going to be one of the better ones, man, because I got an opportunity to really play the music I like to play. And then I was feeling the energy, man, so I hope you really vibing with me, man. Make sure you follow the podcast, man. Follow me on Instagram at underscore MMOTORIJ Fitness on Instagram, man. Let's go. Hey, man, look, there is still hope for the hopeless, man. And there's still life for the lifeless, man. And I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite, my favorite, favorite, favorite songs. Got me uh, got me through a lot of dark times, man. I can't even make this up. But anyway, we're going to get into this podcast, man. So, <sighs> I'm happy, man. Look, I'm happy and blessed, man. So, <laughs> my daughter, man. My daughter, my daughter has found a way to get out of school. Um, she's done it maybe two or three times where she's made herself throw up, you know, in the era, in the age of COVID. Oh, these these teachers and stuff, man, they're not playing no games, man. So if your child comes out and says that, uh, that they're not feeling well and they just hurling everywhere and forcing themselves and and we'll see what my daughter does. She loves the attention, right? So once she got you in her eyesight, right, she locks in and she attacks that that sensibility in your heart. She does it to me every time. She tries it again tonight. You know, it's time for us to go to bed. So I'm, re- I'm recording this podcast um, on Wednesday, but it's going to be out on Monday. So I want to make sure I tell everyone, happy Monday, man. It's the beginning of the week. I want you to make sure you're striving to be a better you. Um, this podcast is, a, is one. This is my baby, man. One of my babies, man. Um, so I want to make sure I give all my hard work and dedication to it. So it's not your season, man. I'm gonna give a few examples of me having to learn when your season was. So um, let's start with my employer. Um, I'm not gonna really say the job that I work, but I do have a nine to five, right? And I've grown through this company over the last. 14, 15 years, right? Um, I started out making $9.50, right? I'm not going to tell you how much I make now, but just know in the last 10 years I've came up. Um, the same job also laid me off, and that, they didn't lay me off where they forced me to, uh, um, you know, where you just didn't have an opportunity to take on another situation. Um, but what, in the moment, it wasn't my season, man, so I had to go and find another job that actually paid me less than what my job was paying me at the time that I got laid off from. So in that moment, I found out what my season looked like. Um, I think when I first jumped into fitness, and I'm not going to ramble about it, but I'm going to go into this part. This episode is all about motivating people to find their season and, and understanding and recognizing when, that's, when their season isn't their season. Um, you know, I also had a moment right where um, where my, you know, I had spent, I had invested a lot in the truck that I had, right? Um, and in the moment, you know, I was I was disappointed about having to get that truck back because in the moment I couldn't afford to pay for that truck anymore. Um, 
that goes into like being responsible and, and and having an outlook over a long period of time and not just thinking in the moment. And that's what this natural season is all about, man. Because if hindsight was 50-50, I would have never took that deal with that, that, that vehicle. Especially knowing what I know now about the depreciation of vehicles and um, doing things your way, having the, not just the finances, but having good credit, man. You know, having good credit goes more, it goes further than actually having a dime, to be honest with you. But giving that truck back, I found out, man, that wasn't my season. And, and, and what I would say is God blessed me with two trucks. Um, and, and having, a, you know, sort of reliability for my family, for myself, being able to get out here and really grind and hustle and do the things we supposed, I'm supposed to do as a man and as a husband and as a friend, man. So it, it, wasn't, my, it wasn't my season in the moment, but I took that situation and um, going forward as a learning experience. And that's what about when you find your season, man, you take some of the things that wasn't for you in that season and you use that, you can use it as motivation, you can lose that, you can use it as a motivational tool, um, because we get in a situation sometimes where, my uncle used to tell me this all the time, boy, you think you know, you think you know everything, and, and in reality, man, to a certain degree, I thought sometimes I did, but when you, when you get old and you go through some of the experiences, um, you realize, man, that uh, you don't, you don't have all the answers. And I'm be honest with you, I never, especially when it, I, I use experiences to determine the answers that I have. So, but again, when you're trying to explain something to people, right, knowledge, knowledgeability is important. So if, you, if you're not knowledgeable about some of the things you're saying and you claim to know and you don't have the answers in the moment, you know what it is, but in the moment you're not prepared to respond to it, then, you know, in that season, it wasn't your time. <laughs> Seems crazy, but it is true, man. Um, so I went through a lot in my life, man. From um, pre-teen, I mean pre-adult, getting arrested for something I didn't do, um, to um, having my first baby aborted. There were some things I didn't talk about. I cried like a baby when that happened. I remember it, man. But look, just imagine us... Uh, me and my wife having that child, and she didn't turn out to be like Alex. So I think for me, that's a win-win. I didn't drop the mic, y'all. Sound like it, but I didn't drop the mic. But it's it's not your season. And then I thought about my past of the day too. While I was um, um, when I was thinking about this topic, and one of the things my pastor used to always say, and he used to always preach about, is being a cheerful giver, man. Um, if you give, if you sow to others, man, uh, double that's gonna come back to you. And that, and I'm a, I'm a living testament of that because, like I say, a lot of some, a lot of the things that's going on in my life and that's going for the good for me now, is all about you know, it's, it's based off of me not treating people like crap. You know what I mean? Treating people the way I would want to be treated, right? Whether it's me giving, you know, even in my job where I have. I have to associate myself with all sorts of people based off of their moods, if that makes sense. I gotta, you got to think about for the last year, man, I've been out in the world, um, and I'm by the, by the grace of God, man, I, I, to my knowledge, I never contracted COVID, you know, diagnosed with COVID, and I never experienced any pain as far as... Um, COVID side effects or anything, the most pain I experienced is when I actually got the daggone shot. But this is not an ad, and I'm not pushing this shot on nobody. But I'm going to tell you something, man. Y'all need to go get vaccinated, man. I, I would say, look, I saw something, and I'm not even, you know what? We're not even going to do this on this podcast. It's going to be positive, right? I didn't die, right? I'm not out here turning it. I didn't go in another arm, um, to my knowledge, at this moment. Um, the war, Nothing's bad has happened to me. And uh, everyone else who's took the shot around me, they're okay, right? So I'm not, at this moment, at this point, I'm not going to tell you to do what's best for you. Do what's best for your grandmother. 
do what's best for your mama, right? Really, just do what's best for the people that you love. Because the worst thing to do is to be responsible for losing a loved one because of your negligence and your inability to just do what's best for someone else. Because when you do what's best for someone else, the soul will come back to you tenfold. But, man, look, just understand when your season will come, it will come. You're not going to always be stuck in a season that's not there for you. Just take your time, man. Like, I don't, I talk about this all the time, man. When I take an opportunity as far as working, that opportunity has it, it can't just be about how much money I'm going to be paid. That opportunity has to make sense for me. It has to work for my kids. And it definitely has to work for your wife or your girlfriend. Someone you're in love with, someone you're trying to get with, someone you're trying to keep. Because happy wife, happy life. Thank you for listening to another episode of M the Motivator J Fit Podcast.